This year at Bonnaroo 2011, there were a lot of groups from Nashville present, and one of the best of those was a group called the Kopecky Family Band. I'm not sure they're actually a family, but they're definitely a band. So David from the Kopecky Family Band, do, do you live in Nashville? Do you commute down to the gig? I do live in Nashville. I'm originally from Denver, Colorado, um, but we we all actually went to school in Nashville at Belmont University, and that's where we all met. And so we're all now living in Nashville. So yeah. But are, but are you camping here on site or at home? Oh, do ho see. at home? At, do you go home at night? No, it's it's no, a weird no, question. We, um, we're camping. Uh, we didn't we didn't come very prepared though. We we came here in a like 15 passenger van and a trailer and so we have all of our gear in the van locked up and then we have the trailer just wide open with all of us sleeping in the trailer. Kelsey lucked out and is, is sleeping in a bunk on one of those buses because um, she's, she's a little sick right now but the rest of us are rough in it. Yeah. Do you camp in real life? I love camping in real life but not fake life. Bonner, <laughs> just kidding. I like camping in all and everywhere but yeah tonight well last night I just had I kind of been fighting a sinus infection and so they they let me stay in the bus which was really nice 
Well, the 15 megatons of dust that you just breathed in today probably won't affect that at all. Do you think that's, that uh, a, a rock man walking around on site breathes in more dust today than a, like a typical teenager in the Sahara Desert? Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's true. What was uh, doing the Tiny Desk concert like? Oh, it was so much fun. It was crazy. I actually was a little bit nervous. I think just because I respect NPR so much and Bob Boylan and Steven, um, they're just kind of have become good friends of ours. And I, yeah, NPR, that was very exciting. Well, since we're an NPR affiliate, uh, we, we love you for saying that. And, and so are you all still in school? Are you out of school? What's the status? We are all officially out of school. Gabe, the other singer, and myself just graduated from school, and we were the last ones to graduate. So we're all done, ready to hit the road hard now. So, yeah. The real education begins now. Yeah. Were there any other like celebrity teachers or apprentices or whatever at, at Belmont? Oh, we've got well, we've got a um, a drum teacher called Zorro. I think that he's uh he's played drums with like Britney Spears and basically every like. Pop, Le Lenny Kravitz and like all these but um, I, I never like really took any drum lessons so I never actually like pursued the, the drum field in, at Belmont so I never had any classes with him but yeah. Britney Spears has real drums? <laughs> Sometimes I guess <laughs> So have you been down to Bonnaroo since you're so close have you been down to Bonnaroo before as fans or listeners? I, I'm the only one in the band that's gone before I went about three years ago and and I loved it, so, yeah. What's it like playing as opposed to just suffering in the mud with everyone else? It is, it's so surreal. I haven't, I, I haven't wrapped my mind around it yet. Like, I still can't really comprehend that, like, we are playing Bonnaroo, even though we already have. It's just, it's amazing. And, and just, like, the backstage, like, getting to sit in a chair is such a luxury. So it's, like, it's, it's awesome.